Hello and glory to Jesus Christ. I'm Father Thomas J. Lawyer of the Tabor Life Institute. I want to welcome you to the light of Tabor. Light implies seeing, being able to see. We are all about seeing correctly and living according to that vision. We believe that's going to have the answer to all life's questions and solutions. I'm a Byzantine Catholic priest. Now, if you're not familiar with what that is, I'll explain it to you by taking you through 2,000 years of history in about two minutes. All you have to do is keep your eye in my hands. Basically, civilization evolved around two complementary worldviews, an Eastern approach and a Western approach. Well, the church developed along the same lines. When the church spread around the world, if it went east, it took on the character of the Eastern culture it was in. If it went west, it took on the character of the Western culture it was in. So the church, something like a marriage, man and woman, was complementary, east and west, yet one, one in belief. Now, this existed like a happy marriage for about a thousand years. The Church of the East, Church of the West, but united together. Unfortunately, though, about a thousand years into this relatively happy marriage, there was a great divorce, a great schism in 1054 AD. 1054 AD, they split apart. This part called itself the Orthodox Churches. This part became known as the Roman Catholic Church. Centered in one place, Rome, the East had four centers, Jerusalem, Antioch, Constantinople, and Alexandria. Now I'm going to fast forward about 500 years. Watch my thumb. Parts of the East, my thumb is part of the East, part of the East reunited with Rome, the way it was before the schism, creating then the Eastern Catholic Churches. That's what I am. I'm one of the Eastern Catholic Churches. There's actually 21 different ways to be Catholic. Most people are familiar with just the Latin Rite because it's the largest in most parts of the world. However, it's not the only way to be Catholic. There are 21 different ways to be Catholic. Now this part is a lot smaller than this or this. However, bigger is not necessarily better. Smaller can actually be very precious and very important. This right here was that I believe has the answer. The round peg to fit in the round hole that is in modern Western civilization. And that's what we're going to learn to see in our series here called Light of Tabor.